Hi and welcome to the channel Love Obstetrics and Gynecology. In my previous videos on the forceps or the operative vaginal delivery, I have explained regarding the indications for a forceps delivery and the prerequisites for that. In this video, you will learn the practical aspect on how to apply the forceps. So, I am going to tell you how to apply outlet forceps or the Wrigley's forceps to, uh, uh, for the patient that is in second stage of labor for the fetal head extraction. Quickly going through the prerequisites. First, we have confirmed our indication. Second, we have taken the consent of the patient. Third, the maternal pelvis has been assessed and there is no cephalopelvic disproportion. Fourth, the fetal head station is confirmed. And fifth, the analgesia has been provided adequately. Coming on to the position. Position your patients in the dorsal lithotomy position or in the stirrups. Clean the perineum and drape accordingly. And now empty the bladder. So first confirming the fetal head position, the fetal head is at the perineum or the fetal skull has reached the pelvic floor. The scalp is visible without separating the labia and the AP diameter uh, of the outlet should be in line with the sagittal suture of the fetal head. And in this case it is totally in line or it should be at least less than 45 degrees. So now we have to assemble first the forceps right in front of the perineum of the patient so that we know which one is the right and which one is the left blade. So first we keep them on the hard surface. So the handle, lock, shank, then this blade. The blade toe should be facing towards the ceiling. And this is how we know that these are. this is the correct way of keeping them. And then we can easily identify which one is the left blade and which is the right. So this is the left blade. So... Uh, this one is the left and we keep the right over the left so this is how we place uh, or uh, assemble the forceps right in front of the patient's perineum so now we can easily identify which one is the right which one is the left so the one that we hold in right hand is the right blade and left is the left one so left is the one that will be first introduced so here we have uh, assembled a pair of forceps and now the one uh, blade that I'm going to hold with my left hand is the left blade. So this I've held it up in my left hand and you hold it almost vertically because you first want to go it into the posterior. You want to guide the blade into the posterior vaginal wall and then you slightly arc it along the lateral vaginal wall. And right hand is going to help you guide it. So you keep the thumb on the heel of the blade. So thumb on the heel of the blade and the rest of the fingers on the blade just to guide it along the left vaginal wall. So then after you have finally uh, placed it, you ask the assistant to hold it and you apply the other blade. Same holding it in the right hand while the left hand helps you guide it and then you lock these blades. So easy locking somehow confirms that it is a, uh, exactly a Keflo pelvic application. So now finally how do you confirm that you have applied correctly these blades? So how do you assess it? The sagittal suture, the sagittal suture should be actually perpendicular to your handle. So right in the midline and the posterior fontanella. This posterior fontanella should be equidistant from both the blades and the posterior fontanella just should be one finger breadth above the level of the shank so this should be just one finger breadth above the level of shank and the fenestration on each side should admit just just uh, the same amount of finger breadth on each side so that we know that it is equidistant from both the sides and it is a biparietal bimillar application so this confirms our Keflic application. Now coming on to the pelvic application. Pelvic application basically means that the forceps have been applied in such a way that they are going to follow the curve of carus. So in the outlet forceps, the direction of pull be first towards yourself, directly towards yourself at no angle. And the next direction of pull will be upward and forward. That will be at 45 degree to 75 degrees from the horizontal level. Now how to hold this forceps and how to pull it. So there is an underneath method, the pagets maneuver. So your right hand, the dominant hand, uh, the index finger and the middle finger are go be going to be on the finger grips and the right hand above it and your elbow should be flexed. So if you will extend your elbow, you are going to provide undue traction through the direct 
from the shoulders so elbow should be flexed so the first direction will be directly in forwards towards yourself and the next will be 45 degrees to 75 degrees upward and forward so this is going to deliver your fetal head after the delivery of the head of the fetus you unlock the forceps remove them and deliver the shoulders and the body as usual now coming upon whether episiotomy should be given or not it should be uh, done on an individualized basis if you feel like that the patient may need episiotomy you should give episiotomy to prevent the perineal tears second when should we give the episiotomy as per the textbooks it is mentioned that you first apply the forceps and then when you are going to apply the traction you give episiotomy but you can give the episiotomy first also and then you are going you can apply the forceps so in a catholic application we have a biparietal bimillar application so our forceps blade covers this area and it does not cover any eye or it does not create a unusual undue tension over one area and relaxation over the other area in case you don't have a catholic application it will be more of a bromestoid application so your one blade will be covering this area of the baby and the other will be over the mastoid so this will cause a undue tension over the uh, head of the baby and they that may lead to a intracranial hemorrhage so in conclusion Wrigley's forceps are a valuable tool in the ops practice. It can be very useful in the emergency situations to save the life of the baby. And it is very safe and efficient when applied carefully. So if you like my video, please do like, subscribe and share the channel Love Obstetrics and Gynecology. Thanks for watching.